Hey guys, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Splendor tutorial, we are going to create another hard surface model. So, without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, I'm going to use the cylinder. So, Shift A, add the cylinder, and we will go with the 32 words. Here, you should be able to visualize how you can use the Boolean operations to achieve the final results. Then, you need to scale the cylinder along the z-axis in this way. After that, I'm going to add one more cylinder at there. And this time we will go with the 16 words. Then you need to rotate it into the 90 degree. Then adjust its scale little bit. And then move it along the z-axis in this way. And give the right position to this. Turn on the x-ray mode, select these words, right click connect vertex path. Then select these bottom faces and then delete them. Then select these words and then press F to fill the gap. After that you need to move the cylinder along the y-axis and give the right position here. And then you can scale this cylinder along the y-axis. I just want a boolean add there, so that's why. Then you can select both object and use the boolean operation difference. Now I'm going to add one cube add there to create that flat cut. You need to scale this cube along the y-axis in this way and move it along the y-axis, give the right position. And then scale it along the z-axis little bit. And then you need to use the simple boolean operation which is difference. And you can see I'm getting that block out at there. I have turned on the wireframe so I can understand where I need to give the right position and right scale to this cutter object so it will be more easier for me to create the right topology for the model. If you want more this kind of tutorials then please give 100 likes to this video. After that you need to apply all the boolean modifiers on the first cylinder. Then you can delete the cutter objects and here you need to create the right topology. You can turn on your extra mode, select these words and move them along the x axis and I want a straight cut at there, so that's why. And then you can select everything and mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x-axis. Now you need to use the knife tool and then create the cuts like this. I want a boolean at there, so that's why. Then you can dissolve this edge, select everything, mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x-axis. And then you can take the symmetry along the y-axis also. Now that's look good. Turn on your extra mode, select these faces and then delete them. And you will get this kind of form at there. Then you need to select this edge loop and control X to dissolve it. Here you can see there are double words so I need to merge these words. Then take the symmetry along the X axis. Then select these faces and then scale them along the Z axis. Now that's look good. Now you can see there are double words so just merge these words to create the right topology on the model. Then you can select everything mesh and then symmetrize. Now you need to add the loop cut like this and then select the words right click connect vertex path and then give the right position to the words and then create a path at there. And then you can add one loop cut like this and then you can dissolve these edges, use the knife tool and then create the cut like this. I want to create that loop structure at there so that's why. You can select these words and then connect them. Then you can delete the face and you can see there are double words so just dissolve these double words and then select everything mesh symmetrize then select that edge and then press f to fill the gap now i will complete this loop structure so use the knife tool and then complete that loop structure it's very simple you can create a different design at the bottom side or you can just take the symmetry it's totally depend on you First I was trying to create a different design but later on I decided that I will keep the symmetry along the z-axis also. That's why here I have did the little bit of work. I have tried to create the right loop structure at there. Then you can select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x-axis. Now just add one loop cut like this. And here I need to create the right loop structure. So that's why I can use the knife tool and then create the cuts like this. You need to maintain the right chord based topology on the model. And the right loop structure is very important here. You can see how I am creating these loop structures. These loop structures will help me to create the right chord based topology on the model and to maintain its design, to maintain those harder edges, harder corners. You can see here I need to create the cut like this. So I will get the harder corner at there. Then select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry. Then you can add one loop cut like this. Then you can add one loop cut like this. Now the next thing. What should I do at here? 
I can add the loop cut like this and I can use the set flow and I can connect the words in this way. It's not the extremely good solution to do this. Then you can use the knife tool add here and you can create the cut like this. And then add one more loop cut like this and then scale this loop cut along the z axis and move it along the z axis and then take the symmetry. Now here we need to work the little bit. So you can see I have created the loop structure add there and that loop structure is going to avoid me the weird shading on the cylinder. So you can see I have maintained the chord base topology also and I have created that loop structure which goes like this. And that's why I have decided to let's take the symmetry along the z-axis and make it more simple. These kind of loop structures are very important in the hard surface modeling. Then you can add the sub D modifier on the model and increase its count up to 2 and turn off that auto smooth add there. Then you can select these bottom faces. Then you can select the bottom faces and you can use the insert operations. And you can create a little bit of design add there. And now you need to add few more loop cuts add there on the model. These are the supportive loop cuts to maintain the good form and good shading on the model. So add this enough topology on the model so it will look really well. Now just I will create a little bit of design add here on the top. And now you can see the topology of the model which looks really well. I'm getting the decent smooth shading on the model. And I have tried to maintain the good design also on the model. Just take the symmetry along the z-axis. You can see the smoothness of the model, its shading and its topology also. So these things are very important while modeling anything. You need to keep in the mind that how you are going to model and first you should be able to visualize your model in the 3D. Then you can start to work on it in your software. If you want more this kind of tutorials then please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. So next video. Take care.